Lesson 61, Sequences. A sequence is an ordered list of numbers, follows a pattern, well, and it follows a pattern. One of the numbers in the sequence is called a term. So a term is a number in a sequence. So here's an example of a sequence. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and if I draw some ellipses that just shows that it's going to continue on following the same pattern. The two is the first term. The four is the second term. Six is the third term. Eight is the fourth term. 10 is the fifth term. And it will continue on. We have a formula for this particular sequence. It is a sub n equals two times n. a sub n means the nth term. So if I want the fifth term, so a sub 5, it's going to equal 2 times 5, or 10. And if you look at our sequence, the fifth term is 10. So if I wanted to find a sub 3, I'm just going to do 2 times 3 to get 6. The sixth term, a sub 6, I'll do 2 times 6, and it would be 12. So if I wanted the next term up here, I would get 12. If we have a formula and we want to figure out what the sequence is, let's say our formula is a sub n equals 3 times n. So we can write a table, and we have the number of the term, that will be our n, and then the value of the term is our a sub n. So we draw this table, if n is 1, a sub 1 will be 3 times 1, or 3. If n is 2, a sub 2, which means the second term, will be 3 times 2, or 6. If n is 3, that means the third term will be 3 times 3, or 9. And we can continue on. If we wanted the 12th term, we would just do 3 times 12 and get 36. If we wanted the 13th term, we would just do 3 times 13 and get 39. So here's another example. If a sub n equals 2n plus 10, what is the tenth term? So we just want to plug in 10 for n. So n is going to equal 10. So the tenth term, a sub 10, is going to be 2 times 10 plus 10, which is going to be 30. So the tenth term in this sequence would be 30. Here's another example. a sub n equals n minus 25. What's the first term? To find the first term, we're going to plug in 1 for n. So a sub 1, that just means the first term, equals 1 minus 25 which equals negative 24. So this sequence is going to start in the negatives. Now we can have two different types of sequences. One is called the arithmetic sequence. Everyone say arithmetic. Excellent. That's where we're adding or subtracting the same amount each um, term, for, to find each term. So here's an arithmetic sequence. 3, 6, 
9, 12, 15, and so on. We are adding 3 every time. So if we went from 6 to 9, we'd be adding 3. 9 to 12 plus 3. So the pattern is plus 3. The constant difference we call 3. It's not fitting. Let's just make it look better here. We'll put it underneath. If we wanted to find the next two terms, we would just add 3 to 15 and get 18, add 3 to 18 and get 21. Now another kind of sequence is called the geometric sequence. Everyone say geometric. Okay, good. That is where we are multiplying or dividing. So here's a geometric sequence. 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, and so on. So we, if we were to go from 1 to 3, we're going to multiply by 3. From 3 to 9, we're going to multiply by 3, 9 to 27, times 3. So the pattern is times 3. I'm going to separate this here from that one. There we go. So the pattern of this geometric system is times 3. This is sometimes called the constant ratio. Above we called it the constant difference. This is the constant ratio. If we wanted to find the next two, ter next two terms, we would have to multiply 81 by 3 to get 243. And then we would multiply 243 by 3 to get 729. Those would be my next two terms. The formula for this geometric sequence is a sub n equals 3 to the n minus 1. So if n is 1, the first term is 3 to the 0th term, which is 1. If n is 2, so the second term is 3 to the 2 minus 1, or 3 to the first power, which is just 3. Um, I forgot to put in the formula for the arithmetic sequence. Um, this particular one was a sub n equals n plus 3. So we just kept adding 3 to which term we wanted. So if I wanted the third term, I would do 3. Wait a minute. That's not n plus 3. Hmm. If n is 1. No, 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 no. It would be. <laughs> is it n 2? It's not n plus 3. It's not going to work. If I did 3 times n, this should be 3 times n. So I'm going to change that. This is n times 3. Okay, and that's the end of the lesson.